get started. Nick, part two. So tell us what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, well, today what we had in our intentions was to connect about um, some different essential oils and blends that would be supportive for emotional support and women's health. Fantastic. And, and actually, emotional support um, and women's health, actually, everybody's health is the same. We are emoting beings, and we are emotional beings. We even walk through emotion. So, um, so uh, how do, when you say emotional support, um, specifically, what does that mean to you? Yeah, so um, what I'm referring to when I'm saying emotional support, I am talking about different uh, botanical extracts and plant allies to support um, connecting to our heart, um, issues that come up in our emotional body and our emotional experience, things to really help ground us into our body and um, soften any anger or um, stressful emotions that could come up. There's some really powerful plant extracts that we're going to be going over to today that can be very helpful for such uh, for such a purpose. Right. Okay. So um, now, when you say that there's plant extracts that will be helpful for a purpose, why would a plant be helpful for emotional support? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, plants are really intelligent. In nature, they have an innate ability to communicate amongst themselves, both amongst other plants and also with animals and all types of creatures on the land. Um, they do this with these um, signaling molecules called terpenes, which we started touching base on in the last uh, podcast together. <laughs> Now, um, these plants are really adaptable to humans as humans have co-evolved with the use of plants, um, everything from flowers and, and fruits and vegetables and all the abundance that nature offers us. And so what I've been exploring over the past um, decade in working with the oils is how powerful they are on working on our emotional body amongst um, many other types of things. So today, I thought it would be fun to just wrap around and explore some different plant extracts that can be supportive for um, lifting up our day as we're uh, endeavoring on um, some challenging times in this collective. Oh, for sure. Now, now another question is, um, and for those of you guys who, who are tuning in maybe the first time, uh, Dr. Nick from Essential Oil Wizardry, we've been working with him seven, for seven years. Um, they actually, uh, we brought the oils into a clinical practice used with all of our top celebrities, top athletes. And what was shocking to me was the power of the oils. And over time, they actually overpowered the medication and the supplements. So, so, um, so why is it that uh, there is a difference between how the oils interact with a, with a female and a male? Is that correct? Um, to some degree, yes. I feel that the male and the female um, have different anatomies and hormones um, that their bodies primarily produce. I think that they can be supportive both for men and for women and for similar purposes. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, um, uh, so what, are we, uh, what are we starting with? Is that today we're going to do the same things? We get to test them. We get to put them on our bodies and stuff like that. She gets yeah, that. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, too, I've had a lot of emotion the last couple of days. So I'm yeah. looking forward to this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We, just, are they? we just had, or actually <laughs> we are still having a full moon. Yeah, just apex. Just apex. So, um, so how does, out of curiosity, since we're right at the full moon, how does that have an impact on, on women in particular? Yeah, well, um, you know, my limited understanding around the moon is that it, it, um, it, it pulls a powerful magnetic field, um, just in the same ways that it's able to, um, uh, have an effect on our oceans and attract more waves and movement. That magnetic field affects every being on this planet. And so, um, you know, in engaging um, with the oils, if we're tapped into our body and or our emotional sense of self, we have the ability to um, really support some of the symptoms of, of what we're experiencing to help bring us back to a better level of homeostasis. 
Yes. So, so, okay. So I'll, I'll talk about it from the clinical medical side. Well, let's actually yeah. say from the human body side, we're also 70% water. So is the earth. And the moon is so strong that it pulls all the earth's oceans and waters into tide or changes them. So it's, it's pretty crazy to think that that doesn't have an effect on us. And more, more importantly, the two most uh, dominant water sources are collections of water, bodies of water in the body are the kidneys and the bladder. The kidneys are about energy. <clears throat> the bladder is about fear from an emotional perspective. <clears throat> so that's why we have so much energy and fear around a full moon. Hence, emergency room, rooms are usually really busy. I've heard that. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, so what, where, where do we start here? Yeah, well, um, my two cents was um, when, when Cynthia had made her, her um, suggest or request before, um, I thought we should dive into a, a beautiful blend that we call heart harmony. Do you guys want to grab that? Yeah, so mm -hmm. heart harmony. Oh. No, oh. heart harmony. We have just heart. No, we yeah. have. We have just heart. I checked We have just all. heart. Okay. okay. Can we use that? Yep. Yeah, let's use heart. Tell us about so, heart harmony, though. Yep. So um, for all the listeners, if you want to grab um, an oil, something uh, with a combination of, of rose or geranium and cedar or, or vetiver, um, our heart harmony formulation is something that's really empowering for clearing the negative energy around a person's field, um, helping to ground you into your physical body and also to expand and open up the heart. I'll just dunk myself in that. Yeah. <laughs> so I can really smell the rose and just the heart. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the first time I've ever smelled the rose that much. <clears throat> yeah, the, the heart will be a, a great uh, a great substitution for this one. So let's take a few deep inhalations into our into our lungs to support our body and and to clear our mind. Mm. One last deep inhalation. Ooh. Ooh. I feel better already. Wow. Very, so calming. very calming. Yeah. And so uh, we're putting the oils. Dr. Nick, you're doing the same thing, <clears throat> rubbing all over the aura. Now, people see us rubbing like this, but we're not actually touching the body. And why is that? Yeah. So um, we're tapping into the emotional body today. Um, so this is less focused on um, physiological. Um, Pharm pharmacological uh, activity, we're really tapping into allowing the oils to penetrate into our, into our field and to have an energetic and emotional um, effect on ourselves. Awesome. Yeah, you can really feel it. So what I'm feeling, uh, I did have a calming down right away. I had a lot of stuff going on uh, with the moon and all this stuff we, um, this morning. And then we had our class <clears throat> that we just did. We just did a live and so I was already, I came in here a little bit amped. So I'm already feeling myself calming yeah. down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, so the, um, the, the cedar and the vetiver of um, heart harmony are really helpful for grounding into the body. Um, rhododendron and cypress leaf are really helpful for cutting through negative energy. And um, the rose and the rose geranium are, are really good for opening up the heart and, and connecting with our emotional self. And so as you're describing about um, these powerful times with the full moon, um, what we're doing is we're, we're clearing the energy, we're dropping into our body, and we're opening up our hearts into a deeper level of play and connection and um, allowing spirit to guide our journey together today. Okay, that that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, it feels fabulous. I'm starting to feel better now. Yeah, I'm starting to get in the flow. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, let's do well, it. Um, so let's play with um, one of our newer blends. Um, this one is called Evolve. And Evolve is, mm. is a really decadent, elegant mm. essential oil blend. Um, it has a combination of Himalayan cedar, uh, rose auto, um, pink lotus absolute, violet leaf absolute, and jasmine grandiflorum. Now, and so, oh, mm -hmm. I was just going to say, oh, um, my 
goodness that's that a lot like of candy. that's a lot of oils now the thing that i noticed is that you know because there's a lot of essential oils out there and they're it's they're pretty. all they all have their different you know pluses and minuses but but what i what i really loved about um about your oils is that you you go to when you take blends to a whole new level and what i love about it is for me i had troubles because my mom uh, i grew up around essential oils but there's so many i didn't know how to mix them so i felt kind of stupid mm -hmm. and i didn't know what to do and it took too long mm -hmm. So that's what I love about this is there's so many oils in the plant. How many drops many, are yeah, you I was putting in your hand? Because I've got like five Like drops. we're pretty so extreme. Dunk. We like dunk it, but I know how many would you recommend? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, with oils, oils are really powerful. Yeah. And lots of our blends are typically about 40 to 60%, which is um, maybe more concentrated than a typical aromatherapist would suggest, but also um, ready, ready for the end user to use directly on the body. I'll usually use about one to three or one to five drops, but I think one to one to three drops is, is really plenty for most people. And it also depends on the application. Like when I said one to five, if I'm, if I'm coating the bottom of my feet, um, so that the oils can absorb through the bottom of my feet um, to enter into the bloodstream where it takes pharmacological effect inside of my body, I might use about three to five drops on the bottom of my feet. Um, if there's a very small area where I'm just wanting to um, take deep inhalation in um, using the inhalation method of working with the oils, then one or two drops is going to be plenty. Okay, so... It smells sweet. It's oh, very wow. sweet. I mm -hmm. love this one. Mm. Oh, what I feel do you like mean? I'm putting my face in a giant flower. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> yeah. candy there. Yeah. I yeah, love it, yeah, it actually has a very, very um, flow, uh, flowery. It's like very yeah. sweet and candy. Now, what again? Yes. That's the way I interpret it. Cynthia, what are you tapping into with this oil? Are you noticing anything with your body and or your emotional body? Mm. It's uh, always yeah. fun. Uh, I feel uh, um, tingly and a lots of energy running up and down my spine, right down, right down to my toes. Um, and it's just lifted my spirits. I feel emotional. Yeah, just lifted and yeah, yeah. I actually feel emotional. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How come I don't feel? What is, what is, how come I don't yeah, feel what emotional? Is that? What yeah. Is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, you know, this is a really powerful blend and in some ways it has similar qualities to heart harmony. I've had people tell me that this one helps to bring emotions to the surface and yeah. um, kind of helps ground you um, and support you um, while you're a little bit, um, while you're dealing with emotional um, instability. And it also helps you um, to, to face that and to um, rise and evolve, as, mm. as you can say. Oh, I, was, I, literally, 100%. I literally felt that instantly. I almost had tears come up. Yeah, I felt very grounded, but like a little bit of sadness trying to release. That's okay. I yeah. was letting all my emotions out earlier. <laughs> loudly. <laughs> good, good for you, Gary. Yeah, for me, this one, um, oh, I, I feel... Uh, a deeper level of um, connection in my body. I feel more in my body currently. Yeah. I also feel um, like my like my head, almost third eye crown area has has opened up. I just feel uh, a little bit softer in terms of um, my mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, felt this is a good one for a me. A shift in my vision, like almost like a relaxation to a different layer in my brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, I really like that one. Yeah. So, so, so if I was somebody who was emotionally closed off, this would be one that would be good to work with because it's it's actually activating and bringing them up the surface. So I know that we have seventy oh, percent women that. following us. So uh, this might be a good one to diffuse in the in the house or the bedroom uh, for you women who uh, have emotionally blocked men. Because you know, just generally, because the society the way it is, I mean, we deal with emotions at the human garage ever, forever. Um, but men just generally, because of society are taught, it's not okay to express. And that's been the, for me, that's been the biggest transition in my life is learning to express my emotions and, and not be embarrassed about it. Like I, I cry, I cry openly when we're doing workshops and stuff like that. And, um, and I never, I mean, if you went to me 20 years ago, cry, you would have had to torture me to get me to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, well, I and a couple like, of years ago, you're, you're I was the same. Yeah, were I'd resonate with that. Kidding. Completely mm-hmm. turned off. So that was interesting. Instantaneously, I could feel it. Yeah, that's awesome. that's just yeah. cool. Magical. Okay, yeah. what's next? Cool. Well, um, let's play with love potion next. Yes. Whoa, <laughs> love potion. I okay, this is hey, something that if like a Monday. girl put on me, I'd fall in love with them. Is hey, it? Is I spread it? this around. <laughs> is it what? Does it have a number? It's not number nine, is it? <laughs> nope, not this one. This is number nine. <laughs> Tell us what is in this wonderful little bottle. Yeah, so our love potion formulation is a real simple formula. It's a combination of Bulgarian rose absolute um, with um, Iranian neroli and South African rose geranium. Well, that's why I Ooh. like it. <laughs> this is nothing but flowers. Yeah. And, um, oh and this, this formulation is, um, this one is really supportive for the heart and for oh. the emotional system. And um, oh, wow. one flower that I've discovered has a real powerful quality associated with um, lessening attachment to anger and um, frustration, especially in transitioning relationships. Rub it on me. Just rub it yeah. on me. Can we get a bigger ball for her? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so love potion. Um, I find it it helps open up the heart, um, lift the mood, and also um, aids with uh, with forgiveness and anger. So the way that I like to work with love potion, and anyone who's in the um, uh, audience yeah, who's watching this um, may choose um, to to use something like rose geranium, and if they also have a little bit of rose, if you combine the two of them. That would be a really pleasant way to um, engage currently. Um, I like around the chest, around the heart region for this one. And um, what I notice um, is I'll feel my emotional center um, soften. And if I'm frustrated or, or angry at a specific person, it almost detaches me from feeling um, connected to that situation such that I can almost um, engage with it um, as a third party, if you will. Actually, that's, actually, that's, that's what Aquarius that. does. Yeah, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the, um, the, so love potion is the potion of Aquarius. So if you're Aquarius or you have a lot of Aquarius in you because <clears throat> Aquarius, they can detach from the emotions. Well, actually, I don't know, I don't know if, a, if Aquarius would use that because they already yeah, are. Right. It would be like an Aries who, who, who was wants- very, it's very ego driven and, and it's the opposite of surrender because mm. when you were talking about that, it's to have forgiveness and to surrender to the process or what's happening mm. in that moment. So I can look at it from a higher perspective. Yeah. So I think mm. it would be really good for somebody who's hard headed or really holding on to those emotions like water signs. If you're hanging on to emotions and trying to hurt people around you with them, then uh, this one is definitely. <laughs> Who would do that? that? Who would do that? Yeah. Would do so that? I actually, I actually had a release. Um, you know, just right before you're going to cry, the mouth kind of crinkles up and it gets a little, it gets a little tinny in the mouth. So I actually had that happen as soon as I put that on because there was oh, been nice. a lot of emotions okay. with the moon and with everything that's going on right now. I mean, we, we, we literally interact with, you know, hundreds of people a day and, and, um, and sometimes quite personal. And, uh, and so those emotions carry on us. So this would be one literally to, to use kind of like, like the protection um, that I would have when I would be working with somebody, I would use either purity or psychic protection. This works very much like that, but on the emotional level, right? Yeah, I resonate with that. I've yeah, never thought of it in that way and um, definitely supportive for um, letting go of the emotional stuckness. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel it right here, actually. So yeah, it's been moving from here, my jaw. It's been moving down the center here. I just felt it in my solar plexus now. I mean, I mean, literally, um, literally, it almost made me want. This one made me want to like, uh, like shed a tear. But, it, but, it, but it's really all over here right now. You know, it's interesting. I feel it actually on my gallbladder and meridian in mm-hmm. my hip. On the right one. On the right. I actually felt there. Too. Yeah, and mm-hmm. burping. Burping. Yeah, it's interesting because because the gallbladder is really where we hold resentment, and so that's oh, super. Wow. Yeah, and I, I also saw. Um, so there was a question about uh, the water signs <clears throat> using this one specifically. The reason why is water signs astrologically are very emotional. And if I'm 
put into an emotional roller coaster. It's very hard to look at that situation from another perspective. So it's evolved. Love, no, love potion. Love potion. Love potion, love potion uh, that we just tried there allows me to separate from that situation emotionally to, to look at it from a higher perspective. So if you are a water sign, it would be helpful. Actually, yeah. this one is, um, this one's going upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I support that. Water sign, water sign, water sign. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a big bottle. Yeah. Hey, hey, are we allowed to do this intravenous? <laughs> no, no, no. That's, no. Awesome. That's beautiful. That's fabulous. Okay. All right. What's next? You know, I love this. So, um, so this one is is a a, a powerful gift. Um, <clears throat> from me to the world. And this one was a blend that I created um, when my father uh, was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Oh. And so this formula is called Father's Love. I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, Father's that's, love. that's beautiful, Nick. Tell yeah. us more how you came about it. Or how you yeah. Go. So the um, so the blend father's love was um, me connecting to the energy of my father, and um, I wasn't clear that he was going to transition so quickly um, at the time when I made this oil. And so um, the goal was to create an oil to help soothe and support him um, during his uh, healing and recovery of cancer, mm -hmm. and. Um, the oils that spoke to me for this blend are bergamot, um, Buddha wood, uh, cabra uva, um, heba cedar wood, uh, tobacco absolute, and tuberose. Um, tuberose absolute. And oh, so I can really smell the tobacco. Oils, Whoa. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys sit with that for a second. Oh. The tobacco oh, it smells like wow. my grandfather. It smells like a it smells like a like grandfather used to smoke. Yeah, grandpa. Oh, yeah, it, it hits. So where I feel it, instantaneously, it hits right in here, right in here, which is the lung meridian coming down through oh. here. So that's uh -huh. that's for that's actually that the lung meridian, lung and, and um, large intestine right here and lung here is for grief, and that's not triggering my my large intestines. So that would be for moving past grief. But what if someone smokes tobacco for what emotion? Oh, I don't even know. I forgot. I, I do know that. that. Would be really. Hey, Actually, wait, let's think about it. Well, so you, you got you know it, that? Gary. My, my father um, smoked for probably about 50 years. Grief, and, grief. Um, yeah, grief, yeah. grief. Tobacco's for grief. Is that what you're that's why it's grief. long in the large intestine. That's why it's long yeah. in the large intestine. But is, do you get it in, in large intestine? I got it in my forearms. Yeah. yeah, so I only got it literally through here. But, you know, in, um, uh, in my own personal life, I've, uh, my mother passing recently. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I've, been, I've been working through a lot of uh, you know, grief in my body. You know, even though I had a, a preview up to it, I had the time, but I also have a father with, um, with, uh, with cancer that's at stage three. And um, so I can actually relate to this very much. Wow. So sorry about that, Gary. Oh, it's mm. beautiful. You know what's, you know what's, it, it, yeah. oh, good. what's interesting, Nick, is I was, I was rubbing it on my uh, large intestine meridian through here and it's, mm -hmm. it's opening it up. It's actually relaxing because this is one of the hardest areas of the body to, to open up. up. Yeah. yeah. People get a lot of carpal tunnel issues. You mm -hmm. know, you know, what's interesting. We say carpal tunnel, like um, carpal tunnel. If you go back like 50 years ago, it was virtually non-existent. And 50 years ago, they had typewriters. They were in typing pools. There'd be like a hundred, hundred, uh, hundred ladies in a typing pool. And they never had carpal tunnel because what happens is the keyboard gives you feedback. But now today we press without the feedback. And that's why, but what, what causes carpal tunnel a lot of the times is this area gets tightened because I'm lifting up. When I lift up here, that's actually a large intestine I'm right in and that pulls tight. So that automatically, if this is a balloon, if this is tight by default, if you take and you pinch the back of your arm like this, you feel it right there. So if this is tight, that's actually, so this is, this would be really good actually for somebody who has carpal tunnel. That's interesting. So yeah, have like, fun exploring with that. So this one, and, so what else, uh, and the name Father's Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. for removing grief and carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here's, here's how I like to work with Father's Love. Yes. And, 
kind of the, um, some of the energy was, um, you know, really embodying my father. So it has this mahogany kind of old walnut furniture type of aromatic quality with, with a smoky tobacco and um, just like a deep earthy ancient ancestor energy. Mm -hmm. And so this blend, um, I, I find it to be very grounding and it connects me to my heart. And it also, um, it feels like it, it gives a sense of forgiveness to the masculine energy in our lives. Um, which may or may not have restricted us in whatever ways uh, over the course of our life. And so it, it felt like this blend was, was a gift of expression to my father, but that it was really a gift to heal all the um, divine masculine wounding that we've all received on this planet. Mm -hmm. So some of my favorite ways to work with this blend are um, to rub a few drops into the hands, take some deep inhalations in. I like massaging father's love into my, um, into my lower abdomen and or also putting it onto the bottom of my feet. Oh, I just yeah. be very, um, it provides a sense of, of grounding, stability, and support. Kind of like um, the, the gentle love that we all desire to um, be supported by our father when we're a young child. You know what's so interesting? women with um, father issues, issues <laughs> uh, wanting to be supported by the men in your life, uh, this would be perfect. Whoa, on the feet? Yeah. Oh, that's insane. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. It's yeah. Very, it's very grounding. Yeah. yeah very, very grounding. Nice. It's yeah. but but very different than root. Yeah. Because root has a different type of grounding. I can't quite place it. The, it's would you, out would here. You, would you say it's almost um because what it feels like to me is that it's almost um it's grounding, but it's also zingy. I yeah, feel, buzzing, I feel buzzing. hyper focused. Yeah, I feel I literally like zoned in i feel like uh, i'm narrowed in now yeah that's interesting and i, I got you because I, yeah. I was going to say grounded but i feel like buzzing yeah and very alert very mm -hmm. alert yeah. that's, that's powerful is there any um, have we had any questions from the audience that we want to answer do you, do you guys feel i love more this focused? one i love what? this one Nick. do you feel this more focused awesome. i do awesome i feel more focused so we're so if you have any questions about what we're talking about so far we're with essential oil wizardry. They're in the chat there. You guys will see them and, and they can answer questions, but a couple of things we want you to do. Um, they're just getting started on TikTok. Let's show them some TikTok love. Uh, let's go over there and make sure you follow them. Also, please do us a favor, send their profile out to 10 of your friends. And, <laughs> and there's some great videos that are going up on there. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got some links that are going to, that they're going to be putting up, but please do that. And also, we're going to take a couple of live questions as well. So if you want to, if you have a question live and it, it doesn't matter the kind of question, we pretty much answer anything. So uh, just feel free to go ahead and we'll be monitoring the chat. This is super powerful, Nick. Okay, guide us away. And for yes. those of you who might be joining right now, we're doing essential oil wizardry. What we're doing um, is we're working with essential oils. These oils have been tested in clinical practice at the human garage with over 10,000 uh, clients everything from Olympic athletes to celebrities. And I can tell you, <laughs> my favorite one was the person who literally doesn't feel anything was Ben Affleck. And I put, and I took psychic protection. Mm -hmm. I went around and he goes, whoa, dude, what was that? <laughs> he felt, he felt psychic protection. And, and, and we do have a picture of him in his underwear. <laughs> a stored away safe on a camera. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay what's, awesome. ne what's next? Let's do it. Yeah, Let's do it. so... Um, this next blend, um, you know, we, we were really tapping into the emotional centers today. Um, and um, this one is, is really also um, very supportive for women. And so um, this formulation is called Moon Cycle. Um, Moon Cycle, you got it in your hand. Right? Oh, that's amazing. Perfect day for it. Oh, no. Hey, hey, Nick, Nick, I got I to gotta tell you something but before you go forward, just a little yeah. testimony because... Of course, with all the women dominant, remember that all of our all of our staff, 
it was like <clears throat> literally it was like 60 percent women <laughs> <clears throat> and um and so they're working together and all of a sudden all of their cycles start going together and how did i know because you could tell it was like very evident and so we <laughs> we would give all the women uh well it was always free when they came in but it was to use the moon cycle at home and and what i what i noticed is that it used to be like three or four days where we were just really rocky um, and, and working with the staff and the people because we were high intensity, lots of stuff going on. This literally took two days out of my uh, two days of my life and made it better every day for seven years. <laughs> and, uh, hang on, we, we got to get the, the lady's opinion. Oh, it's citrusy. It's, can, we, um, can the guys try this? Absolutely. <laughs> Right, Jay was, he was, Jason I'm like, was do I, I handed it to him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm one not, or two drops. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that four. amazing, that amazing experience um, that you've had with it, Gary. Um, this is a very powerful oil, which I've, um, which women have shared with me over the years um, about that claim. Um, so, oh. I, I've, I've met um, probably about. Five or ten women have personally told me that um, after not having their um, regular menstrual cycles for a period of one to ten years, um, while using moon cycle formulation, um, within about a month, uh, these women were able to reclaim their normal monthly cycles. Now, did so they use it every day? Formulation. Um, so how women um, have told me that they typically work with moon cycle is um, several days before, um, during, and several days after their typical um, mm -hmm. menstrual cycle. If they have not been um, getting their menstrual cycle and they're um, exploring um, regenerating that and bringing that back mm -hmm. to a regular pattern, that would be at least once a day use. Um, some, some women uh, may even use twice a day. And where do we, um, go ahead. Yep, so um, moon cycle can be applied on the lower abdomen. Um, you can take deep inhalations in. Um, women can, can rub it over their womb um, and lower abdomen area. Um, once to twice a day is probably ideal. Um, what I found is that this is really um, relaxing to an overactive mind, both for men and for women. Um, and it, uh, it's great for stress. And um, also, I find this to be a very powerful ally as a man uh, for helping me go to sleep. So I'll massage some of this um, moon cycle formulation on the bottom of my feet before I go to bed. Yeah. And I, I just noticed Gary applying onto the lower, onto the bottom of his feet. So when I use moon cycle, um, I'll notice a slowing of my cognitive hmm. function. I feel yes, that. I feel it. I feel that. Yeah. 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 It's almost like, um, I'm resting. You no, know, it feels like a, it feels like a, almost like a weight coming mm -hmm. down on me in a good way. Yeah. Well, the love potion had me like zoned in and this is now like, mm -hmm. okay. Like I want to. So is this I wanna, for I wanna, menstrual, yeah. cramp, like for cramping for menstrual pain, or is there something that would be better for that? Yeah. So, um, so this formulation, oh, um, women have shared that it's helpful for um, cramps, um, some of the emotional stress and instability um, during um, during their cycle, um, and and also uh, very relaxing and calming to the nervous and system. And maybe. Maybe something to use, um, would it be something to use if you're trying to get pregnant to relax before? So um, I'm, I'm glad that you asked that specific question because I was going to bring that up. Something that's very important about moon cycle is it cannot be used if you're pregnant. Oh, if um, you're pregnant. Oh. But what if you're wanting, oh, okay. Yeah. That there's at least some theoretical um, uh, contraindications uh, associated with um, uh, pregnancy um, using a uh, moon cycle because of some specific extracts. So um, could you use it to conceive? Um, so I, if I wanted to conceive, I might um, enjoy uh, one of our ultrasonic <clears throat> epimedium tinctures or um, ultrasonic tribulus. <clears throat> 
tincture. Um, those things are, are really energizing and um, support, um, yeah, sexual function. And actually, um, that would be a whole other topic for us would be around uh, a whole other topic, a whole other Which, segment. Someday. Hold on, hold on. We may have to extend the series and bring you back for one just on for just, pregnancy. just no, just pregnant. one, no, no, just for one on sexual function. <laughs> yes. Well, well, you know, yeah. um, what one of my friends is is a Rasta from um, St. Croix Islands um, in the Virgin Islands. And um, what he shared with me, because um, he, he works with lots of the local priests and elders that um, are, are very deeply connected to the land and also to their heritage and their their plant medicine. And um, one of the things that he says is is most powerful for um increasing sperm count and fertility um, is sea moss. Some people might know this as Irish moss. Yeah, um, yeah we use that. We actually, yeah. that's, we, that's one of the, we, we recommend almost no Man supplements Vinder, now. Yeah, Man Vinder put it in our kitchen one day and we. <laughs> and we recommend, yeah, Irish sea moss. And for those of you guys who don't know, during the potato famine, the Irish sea moss is literally what saved them from starvation. So, so he recommends it. So go ahead and. And yeah, so um, um, cacao, cacanda root, which is another powerful root um, that comes from his island, which we have access to, cacanga root, um, cinnamon, um, uh, and the sea moss. And so he would make these thick cacao elixirs. And um, I think it was about a year uh, before she was pregnant. Um, it, it just has so much life force energy, especially the kakanga root and the sea moss. Wow. Um, so the, and together, the kakanga, because sea moss, interesting thing about Irish sea moss is it has, like we buy minerals and we put them in our water and stuff like that, but there's a whole spectrum of minerals that you can't get off of all the other mineral chains and Irish sea moss. So that's what it's doing is it's activating because the minerals allow the water to not only be absorbed, but to flow mm -hmm. through the fascia. And, and what we believe specifically because of our own personal use is that we were taking all, we were taking normal, uh, you know, contrast minerals and we were, you know, salting our water and stuff like that. But when we put the Irish sea moss, moss in, we could literally feel movement through the layers of the fascia. So that's why I think that's why I think it works so well. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you sharing that. That's going to uh, be fabulous information for a lot of women. A lot yeah. of ladies are going to want to know that. Yay. Hey, um, so so now I feel tired. Yeah, I was going to say, is that, is this, does moon cycle help for somebody who, who has trouble sleeping or if they yes. want to relax? Yeah, so um, so uh, I'm, I'm I glad you guys enjoyed Moon Cycle and not me because I would be slowing down and I wouldn't be answering questions very well right now if I'm, yeah, get, I'm getting yeah, it. that's why I was like, do I do? <laughs> so, it, so, uh, isn't that amazing? I like I'm able to see through the video the shifts in each of you. Oh, I feel like I'm sinking in my. I feel like I'm 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 forcing myself to sit up. Okay, right so now. so no. so Dr. Nick, okay, I need a <laughs> I, I now need a How do we counter this? this? Yeah, so I, need to okay. well, I, I got it. Well, first I want to comment. I, I think it's fun and <laughs> funny because Cynthia um, looks and feels like she's more cuddly. Yeah, and, and I'm like, in, oh in, moment, in moments <laughs> ago, both Gary and <sighs> Jason felt unengaged and, and they're just like taking it easy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm dozing I, off. I, I'm literally struggling yeah. through this now. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what, what's amazing about this, though, is that's the power of the oils, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I literally want to go to sleep. <laughs> so what's our next one, yeah. Nick? No, well, no, 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 we need, yeah, <laughs> now that we're down and out. See, I think there was something about the moon cycle. Oh, you were oh. Like, yeah, oh. Like, yeah, yeah, I was like, are you, I'm a, are you sure? Okay, okay, so, so, so what, do we first, take, what do we take to get our energy going? Because we've got a lot of oils here. I know it might not yeah. be a list, but what could I take? Yeah, what can I do or not? Yeah, so um, what I would do is... Um, uh, we're going to deviate a little bit from the list just because we're the best ever. And um, what I would do is, um, what I would suggest is let's enjoy a single drop of this essential oil tincture called the Cosmic Orgasm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She literally goes to me before we started. She's like, I really want to ask him about the Cosmic Orgasm. I really want to talk about it today. And boom. <laughs> I, 
I, I felt that, and, and, oh. and I heard Cynthia's request last week, and I wanted to offer that. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I literally feel like I'm Nick. crushing. I appreciate you. Yeah, Nick. okay, let's do that. I want to, so, this will get us going. So, so the, the cosmic orgasm, the, um, the intention of this formulation is um, it's, it's very grounding. It's, um, it, it brings you an increased awareness into the present moment. And it also is, um, it's expansive to the mind and to higher states of consciousness. So the way that I enjoy it is a single drop. One drop is plenty. Uh, yeah, like five. I have five minutes. And Nick, do you put the <laughs> tongue or on top of the tongue? I like putting it on the on the tongue. Roll my tongue if you can, though it's not necessary if you can't roll your tongue. My mom taught me how to do that when I was little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, did, I didn't learn that trick. <laughs> yeah. So when you roll your tongue and you breathe it into your lungs, the um, aromatic constituents of Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, um, Moroccan Cedar Atlas, and Israeli Blood Orange are going into the lungs and um, getting absorbed in through the alveoli and entering the bloodstream immediately. I can taste it. Uh, wow. Yeah, so, right away. I feel um, I felt the tingling uh, going all the way up the back and it awesome. felt, I got out right away my shoulders right up here. So it's affecting uh, small intestine, which is back to, back to the brain. The small intestine is very connected and instantaneously mm -hmm. I sat up and I get a little crack in my back. Cool. Wow. That, that I, has I can a taste lovely the orange. Taste, really yeah. orange. So, so you're saying when I put it on my tongue to actually inhale so that I can get that into my lungs. Yep. Um, which gets it into the bloodstream where it's taking a deeper level of action. Yeah. So what I notice from this formulation, my own experience um, is within about two to five minutes, I feel more physically embodied in my body. I yeah. notice the bottom of my feet on a deeper level. And um, my my mind gets more clear uh, if I have a lot of a um, uh, lot of outside disturbances or thoughts. Um, it helps to quiet that, and I'm I'm more focused and engaged. So it's not necessarily energizing per se, but it it deepens your awareness into the present moment. So so what's neat about this is I felt it on my traps first, which is the small intestine comes through here, um, and and small intestine is you know obviously it's intrinsic extrinsic the brain and the small intestine are connected by a cord mm -hmm. and that's why the brain goes up but so then this would be an awesome daily formula for autoimmune because that's where it all comes from small intestine and the blockage mm -hmm. is in there wow mm -hmm. so why the name cosmic orgasm, orgasm. <laughs> yeah cool so this was one of our first formulations and um it started off by um, exploring an essential oil vaporizer with Royal Hawaiian sandalwood. And um, so what I would By do way, is- Can we get one of those? Do you have absolutely, one? Absolutely, absolutely. Is, yeah. like, is that from you, the vaporizer? Because um, what we, we were using was different. Yep, we, we do have some in stock. Um, if, if people email us, we don't have them on our website, but we, we have a number of them still in stock and we'd be ha happy to um, make that exchange and we can definitely mail you guys out one. You consider awesome. us, yeah, yeah. You put us down for one because uh, we've, been using, we've been using the old school way of doing it. And uh, I looked nice at your, yeah, yeah, yours is so, yeah, yours is so cool. Yeah, well, you know, this device is very old school. It's it's super <laughs> manual technology where you're um, you're manually heating it and then breathing it directly into your lungs. And so um, the benefit of this is a single drop of essential oil. Um, you can you can um, with this device specifically, I think <clears throat> about ten to twenty inhalations. And you feel the effects of the oils and um, in a very deep and profound way. Um, so a drop literally can last for days or weeks of regular experience shared with friends. You so, um, uh huh. Last night, last night I was um, <clears throat> so I, I went on um, I went on a three day uh, well two and a half day dry fast, and then I started taking juices and some soup. So I'm on the fifth day, and um, last night. Um, normally I would have something to kind of, you know, push up the energy. I have a lot of energy when I'm on, on the fast, like insane, mm -hmm. but, I, but I, but I missed the feeling, uh, cause when food would come in, it actually makes you high. Cause you're so high from the fast 
the food gives you contrast. So what we did last night is we took uh, frankincense, uh, myrrh, and gold. gold. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I was like, woo, this is awesome. <laughs> Which was what, what, what was your experience with, with frank, myrrh, and gold? Maybe we can play with it right now. Oh, I, I have a sure. question because uh, yesterday, the only oil that I was drawn to was the frankincense, myrrh, and gold. And I didn't want any of the others. And I'm curious to know why that might have been. And, and myself as well, too. Yeah. Um, well, um, I'm not clear on why you were both guided specifically just to that oil. Um, what I find is, um, is frankincense um, specifically is very clearing and cleansing. Um, myrrh is, is um, it's both anti-inflammatory and regenerative. Um, and I find that it's a little potentiating as well. Um, and the oil of gold is, is definitely a frequency of activation. How did they, get the, how did, how did, wow. yeah, that's what I felt activated. How did they get the, how did they get the oil of gold? Like, what is it? I mean, is it like they, they take a gold bar and squeeze it or what? <laughs> um, great question. So the oil of gold is not a product that we produce in-house. I source it from another alchemist. Um, there's a few alchemists that produce the oil of gold. And oil of gold is, um, it's an alchemical extract of gold, which uses a chemical reaction uh, to break down the, the, um, the, the solid gold. And in one of the byproducts, it spills off um, somewhat of a liquidy substance. And this is the oil of gold, um, which typically is then um, put into a another substrate, oftentimes um, organic alcohol. Um, to use it as a carrier. Um, and so this, this substrate um, infused with the oil of gold is very powerful. Um, for anyone who's worked with Ormus, um, which Ormus. is monatomic gold and other types of um, uh, concentrated M-state yeah. minerals, um, oil of gold has, has a very unique vibration. And if I were to kind of define it from my own experience, I find that it heightens and intensifies energy and, um, and it's, it's also very activating. Um, my experience with Ormus and also oil of gold is that um, as I continued to use it, um, I used it pretty regularly for about six years or so. Um, it, it felt like it started diminishing in terms of its quality, but I also felt like I had more of a baseline of, of, of a higher level and so um, what, I, what I discovered from my own personal use was that as you use um, oil of gold or ormus um, more regularly, it <coughs> raises your vibration, it raises your baseline. And there comes a point where there's um, less, less need um, uh, associated with, um, with continuing to use it regularly. So, um, so the, the, I mean, the old school way was uh, yeah. literally, I grew up, my mom would take a, gold coin i mean she was from texas you know like uh, guns and gold and against the government and the banks so <clears throat> so we stored everything in a pillowcase uh down below but we used to take <laughs> a gold coin and boil the water and drink the water ah and is cool. that yeah it's, it's i think that's an old practice i think they do it in uh in kundalini or yogi practices or something like that but mm. but yeah so curious that we have frankincense myrrh and gold and that's what they brought the baby jesus Mm -hmm. So some of my favorite ways of working with the Frank Murren gold, um, I, I like to use this um, for setting intention or um, helping to clear or, or um, raise my vibration. And so um, what I like to do, two things. Um, remember that um, anointing oh. oil technique where we apply the drop onto the third eye? Okay, so yesterday, that's all I was doing with it. I felt, I felt, it felt like Egyptian royalty or something. It felt very like a very uh, ceremonial somehow. And and I had all of these to choose from. And this is what I would do is put it on my. Right yeah, there. actually, it's interesting because I I feel it pulling away. Uh huh. When I feel it pulling away. It causes a lightness right back here. Yeah. Are Are you feeling any tingles? While you yeah, 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 I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of goosebumpies here. Yeah. 
I, I, I feel it a lot, very heavy around my, my third eye and my crown region where I did apply it directly on my body. And now I'm feeling um, energy raise up from the bottom of my feet um, up, up through my body. Yeah, yeah this, this formulation is awesome. Um, I, we also have a, a tincture formulation. I find that they work very well together. Um, it, it's almost like when you, when you um, take a drop of the tincture formulation, I, my experience is that it, um, it kind of raises your vibration from the inside out. And when I'm using the oil, it's almost like it raises my vibration from the outside in. So yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? I just when you said that, I wanted to. I just was stretching my chest because literally, yeah, I, I felt it on the inside. Yeah, I just did that. Yeah, I feel very like hi, <laughs> uh, very introverted now. Like very like closed it did, in and, and I was very, centered, mm -hmm. centered but calm and almost uh -huh. zero thought. Yeah, yeah, I was very inward yesterday. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's fun experimenting with all you because you're very in tune with your your bodies and your, and your emotions <laughs> and yourself. And so we're, we're kind of exploring all these different plant allies together. Oh, yeah. I can't wait till it's we like, get, hey, Nick, I can't wait till we get back together again. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. for women, this is a really good one for emotions because it's very, um, I'm getting high again. Com uh, comforts your emotions. <laughs> I, think, I think I was going to it for comfort of some kind. Yeah, cool. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, another another formulation. Um, I don't know if I sent this to you um, or not. Um, that's really helpful um, in that regard is called Nurture. Um, Nurture actually was um, was designed for uh, one of your team members at the Human Garage, Gary. Oh, I don't know oh was it uh, was it for um, Whitney? Whitney. Whitney she was uh, huh? she was our social media and our blog. She went up there. Uh, so what we did is um i i'm a bit of a like when something works i want to know why it works and when we brought the oils in i had the experience with the oils but i didn't know why so we sent her on a road trip up to see you and you guys custom made a formula which you actually will do for people did you still do that i do mm -hmm. wow. wow so so uh, so if somebody wanted a formula like what did she tell you to get that formula like what what was it she said that she was doing or needed or yeah, um, it, it's on my website, um, what, what she really told me at the time, and I'll do my best to um, kind of gauge uh, back in time from what I remember. Um, I think the oil was intended to help um, support her emotional self, um, to, to relax her, um, uh, to relax stress and anxiety, um, and to... Um, bring a deeper level of calm and um, citrus oils were, uh, were very, I think there was a relationship with someone in her family where there was a connection with some citrus oils. Um, oh, rhododendron. I think her grandmother had some um, flowers, rhododendron flowers that grew around her house when she was a child. Um, so that just came through and um really the whole blend came together in, in such a powerful way because um, she, she told me some things, she didn't tell me other things. And then the story as the, the six oils got chosen and, and the blend came, came out, she was like, wow, I love citrus oils. I had no, you know, I had no idea that there would be citrus in here. Um, she told me the, the background of the rhododendron and um, when she was sifting through a box, I was muscle testing all my oils. And there was like something that was yelling at me, um, at unusually loud. Um, like I got such a strong signal to tap in with this bottle. And so I pulled it out and then um, she was looking through all the oils and then she's like, what's this one? And she picks up another bottle. And I like, I had, um, full tingles up my body. And I laughed because it was the exact same oil that I had picked out from another box where I had such a strong reaction to it. She, her body actually physically went in and, and grabbed that oil out of the box as well. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, there's a lot of magic that goes into custom formulations and custom blends. And um, so this one, uh, Nurture, uh, what I find is the qualities really help to... Um, relax an overactive nervous system, help to ground and calm you, 
and the um, the quality and the energy of it is is a, a nurturing hug from mom. Mm. So we have um, Violet Chill. Uh huh. So um, so let's play with Violet Chill right now. So, so just um, before you go, just before you go on on to uh, off nurture, mm -hmm. um, one thing I just noticed specifically is that on my right side, not my left. My mm -hmm. large intestine reading, because I'm going through a lot of body changes right now. Like literally, um, my my face just mm -hmm. went through a change today, but the the right side of my of my body, the large intestine meridian, ha I've been trying to get this up over my shoulder for like weeks at a time. And it just opened up right now. That's interesting, mm -hmm. which is which is basically the shoulders are carrying the responsibility of the masculine side. Mm -hmm. and, and so that would be good for uh for somebody who has um uh let's say anxiety uh, a little anxious because that that's that was literally her issue she was too anxious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. i'm also feeling like i had a bit of mushrooms yeah yeah feel like very spacey very spacey and calm I, i'm mm -hmm. not sure i think it might be the moon cycle that did that <laughs> with the combo of the other ones but i'm yeah uh -huh. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe maybe the cosmic orgasm because like I had shared, usually within about two to five minutes, I I notice like this deeper quality of it's almost like a deeper focus and meditative quality, right. um, and I think you're also feeling the relaxation associated with the with the moon cycle as well. Yeah, yeah, um, interesting. That's yeah. an interesting and combo. I'm very warm. Uh huh. Very warm and and feeling mm. kind of a cozied in. Yeah. Yeah, I want to open up. It makes so me want to open up my. It wants makes me want to open up. I want to move. I want to move. Yeah, I want to yeah. move. It makes me want to move because my because I'm starting to get yeah, like I'm starting to like. This is what I do when we're like when we're like we're sitting around and then we we have a if you see sometimes our social media we're up climbing these rocks up to a waterfall and we take we take people up there. I mean it's extreme, but we take people up there. But it's it starts off like this. And you know, forty-five minutes later, we're there goes Jake. yeah. Forty-five minutes later, <laughs> it'll we're... just be me with the violet chill. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, um, so violet chill is, um, I think it's an essential for people to have in their medicine cabinet, um, because it's great for bug bites, burns, inflammation, and stress. Um, it's a combination of lavender, cedar, frankincense, myrrh, and helichrysum. Um, it, it smells lovely. It smells very calming and relaxing. Um, this one is going to be a nice one to um, help wind down the energy again. Um, and so, you know, we've kind of saved it for last, right? Um, and, um, I don't want to wind it down. Yeah, I, I literally was like, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to wind it down. Sorry. I, I, I would this is for the women. No, I can. I, I would use this on uh, on feet at night, but I also use it like like I, I mentioned before. I had a, like be, before I workshop, I had my nose all red from the flu, and I literally yeah. put that on, and within you know within I came out of the bathroom, and all my redness had gone. Hmm. So how would we? How would um? Just... Would you use it for cuts? Because you said burns. Uh, as, as, yes. Uh, um. As yeah, I would apply it topically for cuts as well. Um. It doesn't need to be further diluted. Um. It's in a carrier oil already. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This one is great applied topically if there's cut wound um injury um mine minor to moderate injury. Um, you can massage it into the bottom of your feet and that will, will offer a very, um, calming quality. Um, I, I see a question about bruises. Um, it is, uh, it's somewhat helpful for bruises, um, alleviate and, or, um, a stronger concentration of helichrysum. I've seen, um, uh, even better results with bruises. Um, and so this, um, Violet Chill, I usually will use it for, um, calming, uh, an overactive mind. Um, also the, um, young children or people who are stressed out, but still want to engage with their day. Violet chill is a great one because it, it, it slows you down, but I, I don't feel like it, it cuts off the I, cognitive faculties. I, I got the I perfect, I got the perfect application. Cause I get the question mm -hmm. every day. We, these young kids have been wearing masks for 18 months and guess what I'm seeing? I'm, I'm seeing, uh, I'm, I'm seeing uh, obviously red around here. 
and red through here, but red around here, around the face. Now I put violet chill even on inside my lip if I get a cut or if I bite my lip. So it's, it's definitely safe to put it around here, but this would be great for the children because literally mask, mask rash is a big thing. Ikwe who does our dance class teaches children and they have rashes all over their face because they're sweating in it. Yeah. Hmm. I know, so I, 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 nice yeah, it's, it, it's the craziest thing ever, but this would be great for that. Yeah. Never I even think, thought of that. Well, I think it can be helpful. So, so, um, so the, the other thing would be, oh, I know, I guess you wouldn't want to put it on the cloth mask because well, if you're working, you would, it'd probably be just calm you down too much. How about on the children's feet at night, just for? Um, so this is great on the bottom of the feet. Um, I've had chill, I've had um, friends with very young children, um, probably as young as is two years of age, massage it onto the bottom of the feet of the children, and um, sometimes they'll stop crying, they'll go to sleep. Um, I, I've seen some pretty nice results with Violet Chill. What a beautiful wow. way to put your babies to sleep. I know, a little fun. Oh. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, I, I feel so that. calm and relaxed. Yeah. I just want to lie down. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but but not sleep. Not it's, sleep. I'm focused. Yeah. 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 I just want to like meditate. You know, you know, it's funny because That's beautiful. when when I'm when I'm with you and we do this, I always get the feeling that I want. Um, I I tend to because we're going through the education and the experience at the same time. You know, that's the whole thing about what we do with fascial maneuvers. It's an education and it's experience because you're, you're actually learning, you're talking to your body, your body experiences. It's super powerful when we do this. It's, and when we do this in the workshops or play shops, I mean, like we saw our reactions. Um, literally, the, I've, I've seen our, like the last time we did it, our entire, we at the human garage, at the end of it, it's like, you're like a DJ. And at the end, everybody is like, ooh, dancing. They just put on <laughs> dancing. And then the power of the oils, and, and I have to say, I mean, I know that you uh, generally say you don't have any prejudice against any oils, and I, I guess not a brand, because um, I don't have a prejudice against a brand, you know, I, the usuals that are out there that we've used, I mean, I've used them over the last couple of years, even doTERRA and Young Living and stuff like that, but my, in my personal opinion, um, I was two years without your oils. And the amount of difference, and I, I believe it's the intention and the sourcing, because mm. I mean, every single one of these things is handwritten. These little labels, they're not commercially produced. You guys, you have a team of people that literally uh, put love and energy into the, not only the making, but the packaging and the shipping. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's different. Yeah. He always talked about them, but... I, I, I now know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are awesome, Nick. I, I really appreciate you sending these and, and hosting this workshop. Yes. It's been, um, <laughs> so, uh, so next week we are doing pain, inflammation and detoxification. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> pain, inflammation and detoxification. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's, that's the, that's a really big one now because I mean, literally the world's in pain, uh, mental, physically, emotionally. And if you're physically or emotionally and mentally in pain, your body will be physically in pain. So next week, we're going to take that down. Um, the, uh, the one thing that, that I find is there's a, is people underestimate the inflammatory response, uh, to oils. And, and I have found the, that oils are a stronger anti-inflammatory or cause they, cause they deal with the whole body than anything else that I've ever used that's out there. Uh, we have, um, so I'm super excited about next week. Um, mm -hmm. and if you're tuning in next week, uh, you please watch in the bio people, because we are, we're, mm -hmm. we're making some changes. We eventually want to have this in here. So we have a thousand people that can come in, ask questions and show themselves. And we're working to make that happen. So if you're on TikTok and you're following us here, um, and, uh, also if you missed last week's, please go to our, our YouTube and register for our, our YouTube. Because uh, you'll get these as they come out and you can see the workshop. I think we just put it up, right? So it's up there right now on chakras. And we're super excited about our next one on inflammation. Dr. Nick, as always, thank you. Thank you so it much. It was Nick. magical was awesome. and fun. Yeah. And I can't wait to awesome. move. I want to like move my body, but I'm also very calm. It's yeah. interesting. So uh, <laughs> also, guys, if you want to get the oils, the link in our bio, you can find all the oils for the workshop that we did today. And you can order them, uh, the code human garage. And is there anything else?
Yeah. Sign up for next week. The the mm-hmm. sign up link is in there. And you guys, you guys. Uh, we uh, we told you that the people who sign up are going to have an extra surprise at the end of the series. So if you're signing up and you have friends sign up, uh, we have something special for you at the end of the series. So please sign up and make sure that because that way we know you're there. We can identify mm-hmm. you. It's great that you're here, just kind of hanging around. But if you sign up, we got something for you. Yeah. Appreciate you so much, Nick and like, Ellen. Yeah. Ellen is back. Everybody. Ellen's, back. Ellen's been moderating, guys. Just, Everybody give a lot of love to Nick and Ellen. Get your screen, give us a bunch of taps. Give us like 10 taps each so we can close it off and, and let's just get the love everywhere. And follow uh, Essential Oil Wizardry on TikTok. So and go to their channel and follow them, guys, please. And please repost yeah. their videos. Uh, the way TikTok works is uh, if you like it, you repost it. It literally will uh, will build up the feed. We want to we want the world to know about this. And in traditional social media, we can't really talk that well about this because of because uh, of what's happening out there. So this is our platform, guys. Let's uh, show Dr. Nick and Ellen. Let's show them some love. So okay. Yeah, and all your team at Essential Oil Wizardry. You're all <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yay. Hey guys, we'll wrap it up there. That's Thanks, awesome. Nick. Appreciate Thanks. you. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, Are there any other questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you got to run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can. You guys can stay and ask questions. I've got a. I've got a. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can do. We can do, five, we can do five minutes of questions here, and then and then we'll go. I saw that Dom wanted a workshop on sports and performance and recovery, which would be really cool. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Do you have oils for that specifically, Nick? Um, I would say that I have a, a subsector. Um, I, I might explore our e-solution, our pain relief ice, um, some of the circulatory flow. Actually, um, yeah. you know, next, yeah. next week, lots of the oils um, would be ones that I would suggest for people that are um, high performance athletes. Perfect. Okay. And yeah. What, what other think? questions? Uh, um, I'm seeing something for sexual trauma and abuse. Um, I think um, something like return to grace um, and or empower, uh, I think the combination of those would be uh, really supportive. Um, return to grace is a combination of um, cedar atlas, blood orange and um, steam distilled rose auto. So that's very grounding, opening up of the heart and it helps to elevate the mood. Um, and empower is really helpful for um, speaking your truth, um, coming back into your center and, and the communication and taking action. Um, so I, I think uh, the two formulations there can be helpful. Um, throat tincture may also be a, a helpful adjunctive to that um, as that helps to clear blocks because sometimes we get really blocked after a trauma and it's difficult to communicate. So I feel the empower helps to um, amplify and activate your communication centers and the the throw tincture helps to remove energetic um, and emotional blocks so that that activation and that communication is a little bit more clear and um, supportive oh that sounds really healing now would that be also good for thyroid the throat tincture, um, or is there something else that would be good for thyroid thyroid i, I would have to look into um, i might use some of our um, ultrasonic extracted tinctures. Um, uh, I don't know um, any direct formulations for thyroid, uh, but we have some um, some powerful uh, form- physical formulations such as the ultrasonic epimedium, the tribulus, uh, that really help to activate the physical body and get things going. Um, circulatory flow. I've, I've had, um, friends say that they were, they were using circulatory flow and, and it helped, um, it helped them get energy moving in a, in a better way, but I don't know if it's a direct, uh, mechanism of action. Yeah. I find, I find that one, uh, if I have cold hands or feet, I'll just put circulatory flow on and boom, I warm up mm-hmm. almost instantly. Cool. Yeah. On Instagram. Thanks for that. Oh, wait, wait, we got a question. Uh, anything for jealousy or insecurities? Um, jealousy or insecurities. That yes. might be the one that we just had. Uh, the Violet Chill? No, 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 no. The uh, love? Love, potion. So, no, love Potion. I, I believe that um, Love Potion, yeah, I, I love that we're, we're both connecting on, this, on the same um, frame. Love Potion and or Rose Geranium can be really helpful. 
Also, Elong Elong, um, sometimes pronounced Ylang Ylang. Um, um, Elong Elong can be a, um, it's said to be helpful for jealousy. Um, so I think those two oils, um, I like the love potion because um, it's a nice, it's a nice balance and blend. Um, but the, the rose geranium is, is really so powerful for clearing um, anger and um, disconnection of the heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, that's just so I, man. I feel oh, emotional cool. again when you when you put that on. Mm. That's just <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Whew. Uh, any other questions? Let's that's, take a look. That's beautiful. Thank you, Nick. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Are there I any other questions from anyone? Who are going to love these. I think we've got one more question. Somebody said, "Can you talk about using a carrier oil versus not?" Um. So sure. Um. Carrier oils, um, I just submit my email for anyone who has questions. Um, I saw that was in the chat. So regarding a carrier oil, carrier oils help to dilute the powerful essential oils. Um, essential oils are volatile, so they evaporate at room temperature and they evaporate pretty easily and quickly. When you add a carrier oil into the essential oil, um, one thing you're doing is you're diluting it. And essential oils are so powerful. Um, my interpretation is, is less can be more, especially as you continue to get healthier and healthier. Um, your body doesn't need so much. Um, so um, there will be less of a shock associated with, um, with pure essential oils um, in a carrier oil. And also the carrier oil helps to uh, increase the absorption into the skin. Um, so rather than the essential oil evaporating off um, into the atmosphere, um, it helps to penetrate because um, it's a, a, in a fatty oil. So it helps to absorb it deeper into the um, skin um, so that it can absorb into the body more effectively. So that's interesting. So. Um... If they evaporate quickly, we would want to keep the lids on them. Do you have like your top um, tips for caring for our oils? Yeah, I would say keep them um, keep them out of um, heat, uh, keep them out of um, extensive light, keep them away from electromagnetic frequencies um, that might be harmful. Um, I would. Um, I also use uh, some other types of technology. Um, this is a biogeometry um, clearing tray. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll place an oil directly on the center of these um, for about one to five minutes. And that really helps to bring the oil to its maximum capacity. Wow. Um, and so, um, you know, if you're traveling and your oils get exposed to x-rays, um, this would be one way of mitigating some of that potential damage. Thank so you, you care for them like they're your babies. <laughs> they are our babies. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Nick. One more question, and then one more we'll question. Wrap up. Ending a marriage or coping with a divorce? Oh. Say that again. For the ending a marriage or coping with a divorce? Is yep. Essential oil for that. Yeah. Um. So um. I, the oils that come, the oils and blends that come to mind, and because this is a, a little bit of a deeper, uh, you know, there, there's a real story and certain subset of emotions associated with that. So there's a number of different potentials I would explore. So kind of the, the bucket list that I, I'm kind of viewing our empower formula, our prosperity formula, um, one of those. Um, for, for helping to speak your truth and also supporting to take that action. The throat tincture, um, and, and with, our, with our essential oil tinctures, I like just a single drop on the tongue because our tinctures are very powerful. Um, so one drop um, throat tincture. Um, the, the rose geranium is one of the most powerful allies I've found for forgiveness and um, kind of detaching from that emotional attachment and anger. Um, the love potion helps with that rose geranium to, to um, kind of lift the mood uh, a little bit and also um, expand the heart because rose is really heart opening. 
And so you have kind of the forgiveness quality with the heart opening. So I really like love potion. So I would probably um, connect with um, love potion and um, prosperity or empower as like a basic um, offering with some throat tincture. And um, yeah, I, I wish you a lot of success in your transition and, and uh, a deep healing of your heart. Yeah, it's mm. me, um, awesome. my feelings exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, thank you so everybody. much, Nick. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's been an awesome time. It's like yeah. it's like wine testing, but on steroids. It is. You're such a <laughs> sommelier. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, I had a great time with you all. Um, um, take care, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Sounds great. See you next Wednesday. Bye, see everybody next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.